two Lamborghinis. Um, uh, I'm actually making this quick video because I lost a bunch of footage. I was gonna do, I did the acid etch and everything and I showed you guys all that stuff. And then I was gonna do the, I, did, I have the footage left for me actually epoxying the floor, the first coat and the second coat. But unfortunately all my commentary beforehand, like I always do these little videos to set up like, this is what I'm doing, this is what it turns out like, blah, 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 before and after. Due to moving, trying to clean up my computer and a bunch of other stuff, somehow I lost that footage. So I'm gonna quickly do this little intro video before I actually show you the footage of me doing the floor, which isn't that exciting because I did it on the floor. I should have did it up high to actually see the color of it. Anyway, it turned out pretty good. It's hard to see right now, probably because of all this garbage on the floor. Um, it's like a, it's like a, it's an aqua blue and it looks even better actually because you can't see any imperfections with all the dirt on the floor. Um, if I was going to do it again, I would probably Maybe, because I, I had to do two coats. I basically, the first coat I ran out right in front of the door here. And so the second coat, I ended up doing the whole garage and that spot a little bit heavy. So there, you could def definitely tell that I missed a little bit with the first coat, which is a pain. So I, if I knew that I was gonna have to go through two coats anyway, <clears throat> actually I don't know how I was gonna do this, because I would have run out either way. Basically, ideally I think, you'd probably have to get, go really heavy with the first coat and, um, get two kits, so that would be 300 bucks basically right there, and then you need 150 to do the top, so if you didn't want to go that far, you just wouldn't have to, or wouldn't want to. Um, basically though, I think the best way is to find a white floor kit. The gray is kind of boring, and it probably wouldn't show the colors up as well, so I'd try to find a white, which is hard, because I know white just gets dirty really quickly, and so they probably don't sell a lot of white. Anyway, I do the floor in all white first. Second coat, I do the clear coat with the blue uh, mica powder in it. And then I would use um, uh, the isopropanol with a different color of mica in it to do the effect. So, I don't know, you can kind of see it turned out pretty good. There's a few spots where it was a little bit more textured than others. Um, if you want to have a really grippy floor, I recommend using their, they have like a grip packet you dump in and it kind of like bubbles up the floor to make it so the floor is a little bit textured so you don't slip and slide. If you want it just to look beautiful and don't care about slipping and sliding, don't use that. Um, that's kind of what I did. The second coat I didn't bother, first coat I did. So it depends what you want. If you want a textured floor because you're really worried about slipping, don't use that. If you don't care, it is, like I said, really slippery. If I step out on water, I have to be kind of careful. But uh, anyway, this is the, the garage. Like I said, because I was moving, all this stuff, I did the floor, I waited the whatever couple hours, I think I even did an, in, or a, an a before and after shot of everything and did all that stuff, but I lost it all. So I apologize, you can't really see anything. Besides the fact that it's there, the floor is a different color, it's really easy to clean, I was able to drive the cars in, and then uh, I drove them out, washed it all out, used my squeegee, and it was awesome. And now as you can see, all my junk's in here. So the next big step is just to clean out a lot of this stuff, get it all in, I wanna build shelving up along that wall there. I don't know how far, but just to get a lot of stuff off the ground. Um, and then another thing I need to do is just get some projects done. So obviously this is kind of done. This is my GS850. I have a bunch of stuff to do to it. I wanna do a new tank, but that might have to wait for now. The one thing I'm going to have to do, um, is the carburetors. I got a jet kit for it, as well as a few other things I needed. There's a lot of other little things I could do on it. But for now, it's kind of done, so I might just eventually put that against the wall, somewhere there, out of the way. This bike, I won't be able to get to it for a while, probably. It has no front forks. I'd like to build some, maybe. We'll see. Um, that's kind of going to be sitting there for a while, so that, again, is probably going to go up against that wall there. Uh, I would like to build cabinets, so most of the stuff that you see on top We'll go up in the cabinets. Um, in the back of this old Jetta, I have a bunch more. There's like uh, just cans of spray paint and whatever else, cleaning supplies, a welder. So a lot of that I want to put up in cabinets or underneath there. So a lot of the stuff that's under there now will go up in cabinets. The stuff that I mostly use will go underneath there. Um, and that's kind of basically it. A lot of the stuff like the seats you see there, that one on top I want to use for 
my simulator sort of build. So, you know, getting that done and out of the way will clear up a lot of space. There's another seat behind it, which is actually for the Beetle. It's another leather one. I bought it basically just for the, the seat rails so that I can put this seat in the Beetle. Anyway, and then another big one is this whole car. I have kind of a, a I don't want to say a surprise, but something's going to happen with it. I have a bunch of videos planned for it. It technically was a perfectly good car before I started taking it all apart. I had some ideas and I've changed my mind a little bit. Technically this car, if I hooked up the battery and all the wiring harnesses, it would fire right up. Although no intake on it, no radiator on it, but this engine's really good. It's all, it could fire up. So this is technically a perfectly good car besides the fact that all this junk's in there and there's no windows. Um, but I got a video on that coming up soon and hopefully that'll be pretty exciting. I'm actually excited for what this is gonna become. And then we'll get this car out of the way a little bit. And then this Beetle, just now I was driving and I'm actually gonna make a probably a do, I don't know, DIY sort of video. Uh, I don't know if you can see because, hold on, let me switch angle. All right, so if you see that little stub sticking out there, that used to be an idler pulley. So the serpentine belt goes around all these and that's just an idler. I heard some marbly noises as I was driving and suddenly I lost power steering and obviously alternator um, AC, but that doesn't work anyway. Anyway, I was able to get home on battery perfectly fine. I wasn't that far out. But long story short, I have to fix that, obviously. So I just need to go pick up an idler pulley, which is pretty simple to do. Obviously, I just unbolt that, bolt in the new one, and then I have to just re-wrap the belt around everything, which in this car is a little bit of a pain because of all this stuff. You have to do it from the bottom. <sighs> whatever. Other things that need to be done on this car are the uh, timing belt I should do. It actually looks pretty good for now and it hasn't caused any problems. So I might leave that for a little bit longer because I like to live dangerously. If it does go and it snaps, this whole engine's done. It'll explode valves hitting pistons. Um, other than that, I actually changed the coolant temp sensor today, which again, I'm gonna do a quick video on that because it's fairly uh, a simple thing and it's a problem. Coolant temp sensors are pretty problematic on these. Don't know where that is. Anyway, I also changed the uh, fuel filter and the map sensor. And I actually have a coolant temp switch, which goes into the radiator, but I didn't have time. I didn't want to try to figure that out. I want to get this done first so it's actually running, and then maybe we'll do that later. So that's kind of what's going on. Here's the quick video of me painting the floor, and that'll be it for today's video. I apologize that we weren't able to get out as many videos as we normally do. We're kind of all over the place recently. It's because of this move. Um, I'm glad to be in here. It's just gonna be a while to like kind of tidy stuff up, get some of the projects done so they're out of the way. Ripped that windshield out the other day. It shattered because of me. It's not actually because it broke. Um, but anyway, thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoy this quick little montage of me epoxying the floor. And I apologize, it's kind of a short video, but it's interesting, so we'll go with that. Also, I have MT-01 build coming up soon, so I could actually talk about that. That's the other big one, which is probably going to come after this video. My brother has a few things he might make a video on, but basically, I'm doing a tail tidy on this bike. Don't want to share too much of that. Uh, tail tidy and exhaust. So I took off the big giant cans. And currently what I'm gonna put on is this little tiny thing, which if you follow me on Instagram, you would've already seen. This is clearly not gonna make it very much quieter than what it is now, and it's pretty loud. So hopefully this build goes well and I can move on to a bunch of other builds. I wanted to get this one done first because it's getting nice out until today it was, okay, there was no snow, no snow whatsoever. It was all melting. It's not like a crazy amount. There's still snow from before the piles that were there. But anyway, that's what I've been dealing with. Moving, snow, trying to get the bike going, get my garage done so I can throw my stuff in it. For fi for fi <sighs> we are finally all in one place for the first time in forever. That's all I'm gonna say. So if you wanna see some of these builds, and surprise builds and other things come to fruition. Um, 
like and subscribe to the videos, to the channel, follow me on Instagram at thriceind. My brother has a bunch of stuff too, he's kind of waiting for summer. We're just in that little place between summer, winter, and whatever else, so like I said, plenty of content coming. Stay tuned. Apologies for the lack of content in the last week. Thank you very much. Goodbye.